Saturday morning. It's May's morning. So well, actually, May's, I call them May's, might as well be, right, with the competition that they have here. So it's the B main and the A main this morning in Master, Tensiel, and A show. I'm here with the Whiting girls, uh, Lauren and Emily. Um, they're part of the Whiting racing team. Foster is the newest member. I think he's 10. We'll, we'll find him a little bit later and their dad, Jim. Um, I, I, you know, we see each other all the time, like we see each other at Joliet, up in Chapman, all over the place. You guys travel pretty much half the country, actually, racing. So how long have you guys been doing it, and kind of, you know, what, what got you into it? Um, well, I tried racing since I was five, so I guess she was four. Wow. Um, so we've been playing around with them for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, we've had, always had, like, a little, like, mini food. Yeah, on-road or off-road, maybe? Um, well, I was there like, you know, Formula One car, so uh -huh. we always been yeah. Um, we're not really there. So, when I was younger, I did a lot more off-road than she did. Once you got better, more road, I did off-road. I got really good at it. But it's kind of all switched over to on-road. So, that's where we've been. We've had some That's awesome. So, you guys are on the uh, RC America X-Ray team. So, tell me a little bit about, you know, how you feel about the car. i got to tell you, both of you have gotten ridiculously fast since uh, switching from the MTX4. So, tell me a little bit about the difference between the two cars. Um, I definitely noticed some improvement, I guess, in, like, my lap time. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I did too, as you flew by me on the outside and going into the street. Yeah, I mean, the MTX1 was a really good car, and we had a lot of luck with it, and it was strong and durable. Um, but it kind of got to the point where we see a little more power over time. Yeah. Um, I guess durability is good yeah. for the right and stuff. So, yeah, the Memphis, they kind of got offered that great deal. That's outstanding. Yeah, That's outstanding. So, um, so you guys have been racing since five, six, four, yeah. right? So, that, you know, you're in college now, right? And all my senior in high school. Wow. You've actually been racing a long time. Yeah. That's awesome. So, tell me a little bit about yesterday. Yesterday, you direct called by the end of the beat. Yeah. Uh, you didn't have to bump into the beat. Tell me a little bit about that race. Yeah, so yesterday, I actually called by the end of the beat. Uh, you didn't have to bump into the beat. Tell me a little bit about you know, kind of yesterday, the preparation for yesterday, what you were thinking on the stand. I watched the race, and you were, I mean, I watched all the qualifiers that you were in, and you handled traffic very, very well. I got to I gotta tell you. So tell, tell me, what, like, there's a lot of people that watch this, and a lot of people at club races, and they think about coming to the race and watch the like this, and they think that it's unapproachable, right? So tell me a little bit about, you know, some of your mental uh, preparations that you went through to qualify. Um, I definitely want to be patient with it. You know, we had a lot of struggles um, during practice and other qualifiers, which is our fear. We around the corners and be able to qualify in the day. Um, so we just went in with a positive attitude. Um, our dad's a really good one, so he's always, he's always bringing us. Yeah. yeah, five cars and he did us all where we were. It was really like, a big accomplishment for him. Um, but he's a good mechanic and we kind of rely on him to get our cars to so, I mean, we just rely on him mostly to take his hands with the good and with the good So tell me a little bit about today. Now, you know, what kind of, you know, when you're on the stand today, deep breath, you do like little yoga, mind work, like... <laughs> yeah, I get really nervous before yeah. because I feel like there's a lot of pressure on me. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I just, my dad's always telling us to calm down and take deep breaths. And normally I'm out there and like shaking, I'm like crying and concentrating so hard. Yeah. Um, but he just keeps the pool and, you know, they, we all give each other good support. So I know like when I'm going up there, they have people behind me. Awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. So we actually raced together yesterday, and I had a real hard time catching you. Um, so, like, tell me a little bit about, um, you know, there was a lot of traffic, and there was a huge skill gap in our race. There were a lot of very fast people, and then some of the slower folks in the same race. It's very difficult to get a smooth kind of race. So tell me a little bit about how you managed to bump out into the team, what it felt like, the ups and downs with that. Well, that was my strategy going in. Yeah, I was trying to get to the end of the race, the right side to park on the back straight. And yeah, they painted out the little yellow lines and parked right in the middle of the back straight. And, uh, that was no yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, and, and so, 
there obviously there are times where things don't work out as planned. So a little bit about that, like you know, how, how do you get your head back into the game? Hard problem with that sometimes. <laughs> like, I'll hit a corner and then I get caught on like I have to make up the time, but I have to tell myself to stay calm and take mood and enjoy that work. Sometimes, but I still, like, it's still, it's like, okay, okay, let's go. Yeah. So. You run ACL and today. How do you manage to do this? They're very different. Oh, I mean, I haven't been running this summer on my Thursday day for me. So, looking to sit down and feel just mind blowing. Because when I first go out there with my ACL, I have to get used to the driving style and the tire. And it's all throttle, right? In the ACL versus sedan, you have a little yeah. bit more brake and you can control it. I, I think anyway, it's really more, right? It's, it's really hard. Um, I, I'm not very good at ACL cuts, to be honest, but um, I'm getting there and I'm getting used to it, which is the driving style. And I'm really looking forward to getting it better. Yeah. Because it's really fun. It's really fun part of the world. Awesome. Well, good luck today. Awesome job yesterday. Uh, we'll have to hunt Foster and get that out a little bit later. I think he's going to be in the truck. But thanks again. Right. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks.